You're sitting in an Air Creation Trike Ultralight at the end of runway 15 at Edwards Air Force Base in California. This is one of the longest runways in the world, the same runway the Space Shuttle sometimes lands on. In missions, you can navigate using the mission compass and the mission pointer. See the gauge in the upper left corner of the screen? That's the mission compass. The little triangle on the outside of the rotating heading indicator points to the selected objective or item of interest. The text below the indicator tells you the name of the objective, its altitude above sea level, as well as your distance from it. See the big marker in front of you? That's the mission pointer. It points to objectives or items of interest. In some missions, there will be more than one objective or item of interest. You can change which item the mission compass and pointer point to by pressing the K key. You can hide the mission compass and pointer by pressing the U key. To look around, move the hat switch on top of your joystick, or press and hold the space bar, then move the mouse to look around. Feel free to experiment by looking around your aircraft now. You can also try different views by pressing the F9, F10, F11, and F12 keys. When you're done experimenting with views, press 1 to progress to the next phase of this tutorial. You can control an aircraft in flight simulator by using a joystick, a universal controller, the mouse, or the arrow keys on the keyboard. Time to go flying. You're going to start the engine, release the brakes, take off, fly through some gates, and then land again. First, move the throttle to idle. If you don't have a joystick or a universal controller, press the F1 key. Next, start the ultralight's engine. Press Control e or click the ignition switch on the instrument panel. You can control the throttle using the throttle lever on a joystick, by pressing buttons on a universal controller, or by pressing the F1, F2, F3, and F4 keys on the keyboard. The instructions in this tutorial are generalized to apply to any of these methods. Ready for takeoff? Smoothly advance the throttle to full. If you don't have a joystick, press the F4 key. Pull back on the stick a bit. Congratulations, you're flying! Pull back gently on the stick and climb a bit to fly through the first gate you see in front of you. Taking off is easy. At about 30 miles per hour, gently pull the stick towards you and the aircraft will fly off the runway. Great! Now climb a bit more and fly through the second gate. Now reduce the throttle a bit and slow down. The next gate is a little lower than the last one and you'll be landing once you get through it. Good job! Now reduce the throttle all the way and use the stick to adjust your descent bait. Pull back slightly on the stick and level out. Try to float over the runway as long as possible. Now brake. Pull the trigger on your joystick or press the period key. Come to a complete stop.
Nice landing. Press escape to end the mission or take off again to explore on your own. <laughs>